Peace, fellas. This is six to nine ways to have a better sex life. The purpose of this video is to fine tune those things. Whether you struggle with having womb beings in your life and you want to have a more interesting and uh, you know central relationship with the feminine, or you already have it, but there's always another level, right? So, in this video, we're going to go over six ways. The other three will be on my Patreon channel, and uh, so that'll give you six to nine. All right. So check this out. Number one is number one is knowing. And I said this on the womb beings one too, is knowing who you are, knowing that you are electric. They are magnetic and you're electric. And of course, we all have all of those energies in us. Right. But if we're talking about in general, the as far as a, as a man, your energy is electric as a catalyst, as a spark, as it gets shit started. You know, it's like a, like the seed or the sperm and it moves on stuff is dynamic, knowing that about yourself. So just carrying that energy. Many men are out here waiting for some shit to happen when it comes to a woman looks at you or, uh, you know, you, you're in the line or whatever. Or your wife and you're waiting on her. And that's that's not sexy. That's not going to get you. That's not going. That's not going to have her really turned on that much, one way or the other. It's like we are the embodiment of that electric rah, like the sun god. We're the we're the embodiment of that energy. So know it, and there's always another level of knowing. This is not about uh, becoming awakened. This is about awakening and always being in that process and knowing more and more deeper every day. So number one is knowing. Number two, get better, get better, hone your shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, be, be, be passionate about your work, what it is that you're on this planet to do and figuring it out and, and always getting better the next day, the next day, the next day. Uh, take, take inventory about what it is that you've been doing and how you can do it better. Take the constructive feedback as you need it. You know, you don't always got to take feedback, but it, you know, when it when when it feels right to you and you want to get that feedback from whoever people who care about you or take the feminine from from, you know, take take the, the feedback from the feminine. You know, uh, my lady, she always says that uh, re, uh, rejection is redirection. So if you're getting rejected, you know, what I'm saying like take that feedback and, and, and keep changing up the game, keep changing up yourself. So keep honing yourself. That's number two. So number three is emotional mastery this is big if you want to move from just having lowercase sex to have an sex central emotional exchange you know people want to know how to get into the the, the touchless orgasms and all that type of stuff you got to be able to have it be an emotional master because true or have more emotional mastery or be emotionally emotionally mastering there's never really a place where you are a master in my opinion we're always becoming better right going back to number two but and if you're doing the work, your lady should be able to feel more comfortable that you're not going to just lose your shit on her if she loses her shit. And to be able to stand and weather those storms and everything. And it's a process. It don't happen overnight for many of us. A lot of I'm not talking about suppression. I'm not talking about uh, just walking off as soon as she starts yelling, these type of things like that's. That's not emotional mastery. So number three is le learning how to have more emotional mastery. Keep working on your emotional mastery. Number four, you got to start speaking life, man. I said this again to the womb beings. It applies to you all as well. If you want to have a better sex life, stop dogging out womb beings. We don't love these hoes. You know what I'm saying? These, uh, you know, women ain't nothing but bitches and, and, and these type of things or whatever. You carrying those energies, you, you 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 talk that talk. How is that helping you? Ultimately, you know that that's a frequency, and that's not to say that that reality doesn't exist. The thing is, is that, and the, again, going back to number one, knowing who you are is knowing that multiple, infinite, myriad uh, realities exist. Which one are you tuning into? Which one are you creating? Which one are you giving breath to? Which one are you giving life to? That's the question. So uh, with number four is don't give life, don't give breath to some bullshit. Don't talk about the women and put them down and everything. 
Because ultimately, if they're the soil, then if they're the soil that society grows from, what does that say about us then, as men? If that if 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 women ain't nothing but bitches, and if we're always making these distinctions between who's one and what, it's like and putting someone on a pedestal and all of that is like. I'm not saying don't use your discernment. That's not it. But I'm saying as far as blanket statements and things like that and getting into these, you know, there's a whole community of men who they really, they, they've given up on womb beings and don't have anything positive to say about any kind of interaction or whatever. Don't even give thought to that. Don't even give a word to that. You stay in your divinity and knowing who you are and create your reality with your breath and what it is that you say. So number four is give breath, give, give, give life, speak life. Number five is this, the false belief systems. Taking the time to look at those sexual icons, looking at uh, what it is that we think is sexy and, and why do we think that it's nothing wrong with liking what, what you like. But the question is the, the question, the question is like, but why do I like that? Don't just say, oh, that's what I like. Like, okay, cool. But why? But why? You know, it may be just nature. It may be a program. If we're around here liking women with a certain type of body style, that most of the women that we know of, that we could think of or speak of or show a picture of, that ain't even their real body. It's been altered in some way. Then what is it that we're really liking? Is something to think about so you know number five is really just taking time to look at our false bs or false belief systems there's so many religion and uh you know our, our thoughts about society these all things are, are things that are going to affect our sex life too because it's called what central emotional exchange the emotional component of it the exchange is the breath and the awareness. So things that affect our awareness or our consciousness or our ability to introspect are going to affect our sex life. So number five, look at the false BS, the false belief systems. And number six is balance your inward and outward focus. Many of us men, we out here with a lot of outward focus, whether it be our jobs or, you know, even if we have ambitious and trying to get our, have our own business, if we're uh, you know, trying to get with these ladies out here in these streets or whatever, porn, there's a lot of outward focus. We want to start balancing that focus inwardly, introspection, looking inward, you know, so uh, taking some time with meditation or other things. It doesn't have to be seated meditation. It can just be anything that allows us or deep contemplative conversations people who will help you to reflect on things, but it's introspection. It's time to, to look, take some of the focus sometimes and look inward and look and see uh, at your emotional state. And if you're showing up in a loving way, and if not, why that is and how you can change, you know, keep working uh, again, going to number two, honing yourself. Right? So those are the six ways that are six ways that you can have a better sex life. If you want to get the other three, you know, because it's called six to nine, right? So the other three will be on my Patreon. Notice those numbers, the three, the six, and the nine. You know, Nikola Tesla talks about those numbers. Look that up. You know, Nikola Tesla, Tesla and his talks about the three, the six, and the nine. But if you want the other three, consider, you know, uh, going on my Patreon and, and sharing some support there. I'm going to put the other three on there. And uh, thank you for coming through. You know, if you want to move from that sex to that SEX central emotional exchange, keep checking out these videos. Let me know in the comments below what you liked about it, what else you would like to maybe uh, talk about. And, uh, you know, when it comes to seduction, when it comes to, you know, uh, uh, sensuality, these are all things that we can we can go deeper into. And that are some of the topics that, again, will be on my Patreon. Again, I'm so far from full show energy work. My lady and me, we do uh, energy work. For couples and singles, I have a book, Sacred Orgasmic Living, Soul, and uh, uh, the link will be down below for that. I have webinars and workshops. Uh, we have regular webinars, uh, ongoing uh, webinars, rather, uh, sex and SEX, Central Emotional Exchange, 
both co-ed and uh, men's only. So check the links below. I'll be updating those dates and letting you know when you can get in on another one of those. And again, I thank you all for coming through. Uh, I know that you can go do a lot of things. You can you can check out a lot of people on it, uh, on social media and YouTube. So I appreciate you just taking some time uh, and slowing down and listening to what I have to say. Let's do a uh, breath in and out. And remember y'all keep that SEX in your life. Keep shining, keep evolving, and do so exponentially. Peace.